Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tiro back with another video and today in this video I am going to show you how is the 15th February Nitrogen OS build on Redmi Note 3 and if you want to know how to install Nitrogen OS, here is a card for you. So let's do it. So again in this video I made some key points over here and I'll talk about them. So first of all let's talk about the battery icon which is present on the 15th February build. You will find all the settings for that in settings, personalization, status bar and battery icon. I have selected the big dotted circle here already. Here are the battery icon styles. You can change it to portrait, circle, dotted circle, big circle, big dotted circle and only text or even you can totally hide it. Let me change it so that you can see how each of them look. Now let me change it to circle from portrait. You keep an eye on the battery logo on the status bar. Here is the dotted circle. Here is the big circle. Here is the big dotted circle. Here is the clock and date option. I don't remember if it was there already. I will show it to you anyway. Here as you can see it shows which date is it. And you can change it to uppercase and you can adjust the font size to small or normal. Next up let's talk about the display settings. Now let's jump into the display settings. First let's talk about the night mode or read mode. Yes it works super fine here as you can see. And the good thing is you can even adjust the intensity of it as you can see. I will just turn it off as of now. Here are some more things like ambient display and stuff. Now let's jump into the color manager. You can change the whole UI color to light, dark or even totally black. Let me set dark over here. As you can see the UI closes and comes back up automatically after changing it. So that's great. And you can change the device accent color to any color. Right now it's on pixel. I will just change it to red. As you can see the whole settings panel theme turned dark and red. Even the quick settings panel looks awesome. Here is a demo of face unlock feature of this ROM. First of all go to personalization settings. Now tap on lock screen and turn on this face auto unlock on the bottom. Now go back go to security. Now tap on smart lock. Enter your pin or pattern here. Now hit trusted face and complete the setup. I did that already and make sure to flash the ROM with micro G apps otherwise it may not work. And here is the demo of instant face unlock working fine. As you can see works pretty well I gotta say. You just look at the screen when it's turned on and boom you are on the home screen. Pretty much deserves a thumbs up from me. And one more thing I thought of showing you guys, the double tap to wake the display feature. For that, go to settings, personalization, tap on device features, enable this tap to wake option and boom, it works fine. As you can see, one more pretty nifty feature I like is the power button torch. Now for that, go to personalization again. In gestures, you will find this screen of power button torch. Here set it to long press power button to toggle torch and done. It works even while the phone is locked so that's pretty awesome. Like this. Just hold the power button for more than a second or so to toggle the torch on or off. It's a pretty handy feature I gotta say. Give this video a thumbs up if you think so too. So let's talk about the battery life. I guess the last time I tested Nitrogen OS and I'll link a card of this video. And on that the battery life was a little bit better I guess and on the 15th February build I am getting just like 4.5 or 5 hours of screen on time and before that I was getting like 5.5 or 6 hours of screen on time so it's a little bit worse but I think it will improve with updates. The RAM management of this ROM is pretty good here is a demo. Now let me open up a few apps so that I can show you the RAM management of this ROM.
as you can see it works like a charm as all the apps were in memory so no issues with the ram management either so let's talk about the stability and performance so how is it for you guys well in my opinion this is the best 8.1 rom for redmi note 3 and it got the most customizable features like you can customize everything from the status bar quick settings panel torch buttons and all the other things and even we have double tap to wake and double tap to sleep both on this rom and i don't know how many else features are there so i am pretty sure this is the best rom for redmi note 3 as of now so that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work this is Bintiro. i'll see you in the next one bye bye now